Hey, Jay here. We're out at Quia, one of my favorite tracks, and we're riding one of my favorite things, and that's 250s. We've got a brand new one, 2019 Yamaha YZ250F. And uh, this bike's been kind of dominant since 14. Uh, one, three, four uh, outdoor championships with uh, Plessinger just won, Cooper Webb won one, and Martin won two. If I, if I got all that right, that's what this bike's done. So now they've updated this bike and so tons of updates i'm sure most of you guys know about them but you can see what a uh, short slow old fat guy thinks of this bike on the track uh, first we're gonna have mike ulrich at yamaha talk about this thing a little bit because he's gonna be better to talk to you about all the changes they made to this thing for 2019 and i suspect we'll be seeing a lot of these changes on the fx model soon but uh, electric start in this thing that's the big key for me and they've done a few changes that i'm looking forward to trying out and seeing what we think of this thing Hey guys, this is Mike Ulrich from Yamaha, uh, here introducing the brand new 2019 YZ250F. So yeah, for this year, it's uh, truly a, a brand new bike from the, from the ground up. Um, one of the big changes, of course, is uh, now the bike is electric start, which uh, is a huge benefit for uh, both racers and uh, just casual riders. Uh, so we have a brand new engine. Um, again, from the, the crankcases all the way up. So brand new head design, valve train, um, crank, new materials in the transmission, brand new uh, higher uh, capacity clutch. So brand new engine, um, as well as a brand new chassis. So uh, going kind of along the lines of our 450 last year, um, we completely changed the chassis, made it a lot slimmer, made the bike more nimble, gave it a lighter feel, uh, definitely helped the, uh, the turning, uh, gives the, the front end a lot more precise feel. Uh, the suspension settings are all new. Um, basically, like I said, it's a, it's a brand new bike. We've obviously had a lot of success with the previous generation one in both Supercross as well as outdoors with uh, you know, Cooper Webb and, and most recently Aaron Plessinger and uh, we're looking to continue that uh, in the future. So uh, brand new motor, which really we focused on uh, improving mid to top end power and the new chassis to make the bike feel smaller, slimmer, uh, a lot lighter handling and uh, much, much more manageable and easy to handle. Okay, so I just hopped off of this 2019 Yamaha YZ250F and uh, very impressed. Very good bike. Uh, the old bike 14 to 18, uh, pretty much, it got refinements every year, but it's basically the same bike. Um, just with changes to the top end and, uh, you know, cam changes, little, little changes throughout the years. This bike is you know, got big changes with electric start, of course, but then it's got all the chassis improvements and suspension uh, improvements, and uh, motor's been improved a lot. So to, you know, the motor's been, um, Mike talked about all those changes, but it's got an updated engine top end. So the bike previously just had a lot of bottom and mid, and you didn't have much on top, but, which was okay for a 250F because that's kind of the most important thing is you needed that bottom and mid, and where the KTM and Husqvarna kind of just scream on top, and those need more bottom that they were kind of these bikes were kind of polar opposites uh, you know comparing those two and those have kind of been you know kind of the two class leaders for the last little while so this bike uh has got more of that top back but still good bottom and mid i don't know if it's the same if it's as strong but pretty close good bottom and mid and more over rev on top you still shift it more than you would a ktm i don't think the thing revs out like a ktm but it's really good. So I have a feeling this bike's gonna win some shootouts, uh, pretty sure. Um, now, how does it compare to some of the other bikes? I haven't rode all the 250s just this year yet, but compared to the KTM, they're both really good bikes, I can tell you that. I don't wanna really say, hey, which one's better, not riding them back to back the same day. I will say that the, this bike is a little bit more shifting. I think the suspension's pretty amazing on this bike. Uh, I'm way over the weight of what this bike is sprung for. We're running around 105 millimeters of sag on this thing. And uh, stuff is soft, but I kind of like it that way. Uh, the track's really rough right now, and it just feels amazing. Uh, so dual spring forks. Uh, Yamaha's kind of had best suspension in these classes the last few years, so I think they've been improved yet. So a uh, really great bike. I think if somebody's looking for a bike for their kid uh, or for themselves, that guy or kid coming up this is you can't you're not gonna be able to go wrong with this bike um obviously guessing this is going to be the same
basic platform for the next four or five years from Yamaha. The tuning thing is really cool. The feature uh, you saw with, I'm, I'm sure everybody's kind of seen it by now, but it's easy to download that app on your phone and plug in the maps. On the Switch right here, you can have two maps. You can have your stock, and we had the Travis Preston map, which uh, did seem to make it a lot more just quicker kind of throughout. Felt really good. Uh, the bike did have a little bit of pop, but overall, nothing annoying. Uh, like some of the older bikes we've uh, in years past where they'd be popping a little bit lean stock, but this bike uh, feels amazing. So really good bike. Um, I don't think anyone's gonna go wrong with getting this bike. I know they're available. I already have some buddies that have, have gotten some. So it's a good bike. I don't think you're gonna go wrong with this thing. Uh, no matter, you know, for your kid or for yourself, it's gonna be a great bike. So um, look for this thing out front a bunch in uh, 2019.